Brooklyn Independent Television. Right now we want to switch from the hardwood floor to the frozen pot. Where last season in the Federal Hockey League, the Brooklyn Aviators made it to the finals but came up on the short end of the stick. However, this season their main goal is to win it all in the Federal Hockey League. I recently caught up with some members of the team at Aviator Sportsplex. Being one of the only professional teams in Brooklyn, it's an honor. It's pretty much its own city in itself when you think about it, just with the size of New York City. So, uh, you know, you really get that sense of the big city life and professional sports, but also kind of a, uh, a niche sport and you get the local fan base. I mean, at the end of the day, we are here to play hockey and win games, and that's number one, but it always feels better to win for those people that come out every single game and they shake your hand, they ask for autographs. It's always a little extra special to win at home for them. We play at Aviator Sports and Event Center and it's a great place to play because there's a lot of traffic in here where there's tons of kids and on the weekends there's like thousands of people so sometimes we actually get just people walking up that are around and see oh we're playing a pro hockey game and they're just coming to the game so uh, I mean it's a good place to play. It's a fun league, it's great competition, we've got some ex-NHLers playing in the league, we got guys who've played double A hockey before and very experienced hockey players. The last couple of years in the Federal Hockey League, the talent level has gotten a lot better. In the first year, we weren't allowed to have Canadian players or Europeans, and um, now that there's six teams or more, you're allowed to immigrate. Therefore, it helps out the talent pool. We got guys from local areas, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. We got guys such as Jesse from Wisconsin, um, Steve Obelnick, even though he's hurt, he's from Manitoba, which is a province above North Dakota in Canada. Uh, we got a guy from California, we got a couple guys from Michigan, so I mean it's, it's very sporadic. Last year's team, we had a good team, we made it to the finals. This year we have the same type of team, I guess, hard workers and, and you know, we battle all the time, and we're, we're in third place right now. We should have a better record than, than what we show. But, um, you know, the guys work hard, and it's a good bunch of guys, and that's kind of where I build from. A good core group of guys that I wouldn't mind calling my friend off the ice, you know what I mean? I like our work ethic. I, li I like all that. So it's just, you know, putting the pieces to the puzzle. I'm probably getting a guy from last year that was a very good player for us coming back after New Year's. So that'll help us immensely. And um, we're looking for really probably two other guys right now. We had a slow start last year too, but we found our stride mid-season. And you know, just the guys are on a huge high from the first few wins and we just kept rolling all the way through playoffs. The second round, the Alcazaz and the just, uh, they beat us at home and you know, we just kind of lost it at home, I guess. We're 2-0 uh, we're against Takasasmi this season, so we kind of took that one personal. Early on in the season, we were kind of finding ways to lose games. We lost four games in overtime, but as of late, we've been finding ways to win games. So that's a sign of the team growing, the team building that chemistry, and you know the coach really finding the right fits for players and putting guys together and everything. We started off this year slow, and uh, we brought in new players, and Rob's been mixing and matching things. and. Uh, we're starting to find our stride as a team and uh, we're starting to look good. Everyone's starting to be able to read off each other much better and uh, we know what each other's going to do on the ice. It's still early. I mean, I don't like to say it's still early because I want to improve right away. But, uh, you know, right now we're, we're in a good position. I mean, uh, getting in the playoffs is obviously the main objective and then you go from there, but I think we'll be all right. The younger guys and uh, some of the older guys just would like to make it to the next level, and if not, you know, we'd like to win a championship here. We came close last year, we were right there, but now we want to do it this year. Our goal is not to be the best team, you know, in December. Our goal is to be the best team come March when playoffs start. Become a fan on Facebook, like Brooklyn Independent Television.